Science deals with matter, religion deals with the spirit. The two are never supposed to meet, but in 1907, a doctor in Massachusetts decided to break the rules. He built a machine to catch a ghost, and he tried to weigh the human soul. Dr. Duncan McDougall was obsessed. He hypothesized that the soul wasn't just energy, it was physical matter. And if it had mass, it could be weighed. He didn't want faith, he wanted data. So he turned his hospital into a laboratory of death. He constructed a special bed, balanced on a highly sensitive industrial scale. It was accurate to two tenths of an ounce. He found six terminally ill patients, people dying of tuberculosis who were too exhausted to move, and he placed them on the scale to wait for the end. The first patient was a man. McDougall watched the scale for three hours and 40 minutes. The needle slowly drifted down as the patient lost water through sweat. It was boring, scientific work, until the final second. At the exact moment the patient died, the beam of the scale suddenly dropped with an audible clank. It wasn't a slow decline. It was a sudden, sharp exit. Something had left the body. In an instant, McDougall checked the weights. The loss was exactly three-fourths of an ounce, or 21 grams. He ruled out the air in the lungs. He ruled out bodily fluids. There was no physical explanation. The weight of a hummingbird had simply vanished. To prove it was the soul, he repeated the experiment with 15 dogs. At the moment of their death, the scale did not move. There was no sudden drop. McDougall concluded that humans have souls and dogs do not, a finding that angered science and animal lovers alike. Modern science rejects his methods. The sample size was too small, the equipment too crude. But the idea stuck, the concept that we are more than just biology, that there is a spark inside us, carrying a specific weight, waiting to fly away. We are vessels for something strange and heavy. If you want to explore what lies beyond the veil, subscribe. The scale is balanced.